What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Questex coming back at you once again. And, uh, yep, yep, yep. I had to do it. Uh, I couldn't resist. Um, it's just, you know, I have many vices, and, you know, I'm human. Everyone is. And so, you know, some people, they wake up and, you know, sugar is their vice. Some people, alcohol. Some people, drugs. Some people, too much television can be advice. For me, it's discounting and discrediting racist and those who try to pass themselves off as non-racist assholes. That's my vice. I love it. I love doing it. Um, I get a thrill out of the idea and the concept of a racist who thinks he's fundamentally more intelligent than I and he tries to spin things to suit his narrative, but then accuses you of doing the very same thing that he's doing, degrades and uh, tries to humiliate those people of color, but then tries to pretend as if he's not and that he's neutral by, you know, saying he likes this person or that person. Uh, you know, there are lots of races out there in the world who like at least one person of color. You know, I mean, that's the equivalent of saying, oh, you know, I, I have sex with black women, yet, you know, I hate niggers. <laughs> You've heard it time and time again. It's throughout history. Let's look at how slave masters work. You know, and, and when I broached this particular uh, comparison, there's a lot of those bumbling so-called societal experts who will look at it and say well, you know he's just stuck in this, this circle of of oh what was the black man you know he just can't he can't stop he, i mean it's uh, why do they have to talk about their penises all the time and how big it is and why do they have to come at our women and uh, you see that's that that last picture the the crybaby okay the middle picture is Oh, goddamn, fuck you niggers, man, fuck you. Oh, you know, you took our jobs and you, you try to take our women and you're, by golly, you're not going to come in my country and take what I was sitting up here born for. No, never mind. We, we savagely took it from the rightful owners of this land. Uh, uh, you know, that's the constant victim, you know, it's, it's victimization syndrome. Okay, those little fuckers, they suffer from that. But see, then we get that special case. We got those special cases. See, these are the races that I love going after. I love just decimating them, hitting them straight to the vein, euthanizing them. I love doing it. See, listen, man. Who do you think you're fooling? Who? Who in the right mind? Okay? would ever, ever take what you have to say seriously. Who? Who? You, you talk about your little small segment of fan base that follows you, okay? You talk about how, you know, the black channels have an ulterior motive. And just, dude, don't you dare sit here and say that you don't police primarily African-American channels, okay? Let's not even... Damn, it's not even African American channels that you police. You policed you policed people of color all throughout the world. Cuz you know YouTube is a universal platform which allows others to come on here from all walks of life and different continents and you literally just so happens, you know. See, there's a saying where I come from. If somebody calls you a crackhead the first time, you can ignore them. If somebody else calls you a crackhead, then you have to start wondering about it. If a third person starts calling you a crackhead, dude, you are a crackhead. Listen, man, I think, and I'm going to be honest with you, I think, and I'm convinced, especially with this latest thing, because you go through these cycles where it gets to, it, 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 it's like pent up frustration for you. You know, you, you, you see our subs growing, you see our following growing, and, and it just builds up and builds up and it builds up. It's like a powder keg, and you just need to release that tension. This latest, latest, I'm sorry, I said lattice, this latest slew of videos that you just pumped out, Attacking all of the LDBC or most of it.
I notice you choose, you pick and choose which ones to come after as well. I'm going to talk about that a little later on too in this video. Because see, what you do is, is you'll watch all of our videos. And don't say you don't. Please don't say you don't. I mean, if there's one thing the internet does do properly, is it documents everything. Okay? And I'm pretty sure if we were to go by a verbiage test... I've literally witnessed you, okay, in your videos, quote, several members of the LDBC, okay, because you've listened to their videos and you try to pawn it off as your own intellect, okay? S stop. Please stop. Okay? You're not fooled. You may have those children fooled that follow you, but you don't have me fooled. And yes, you are an old ass motherfucker on here, but yet you try to point out how our ages. Are, oh, it's you know, it's so funny. You come from this high horse of moral standing, yet you do the exact same thing, the exact same thing. You know, I've sat there and watched you indiv pick individually each member of the LDBC and have something negative to say about us all, but. The moment you see, let's say, two LDBC members mm, disagreeing with each other, you try to pump out and hop on one of the LDBC members' positions, and you never fully embrace it. What you do is you try to egg on a situation. Case in point, when I was having my disagreement with Black Fight Fan TV, you did a slew of videos trying to promote that. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, Black Fight Fan TV. I, I, you know, at least I can get down with him because he's not biased. He wasn't biased because you saw me and him were having a disagreement. OK, and I just wanted I wanted to be known here. And don't try to say you didn't you don't you didn't do it because I'm telling you the Internet saves everything. We all save everything, bro. OK. I cover every base. So before I say anything, it can be proven. So don't try to go back into your records and, and, and erase shit. And that just shows your snaky, manipulative narrative that you're trying to push. You're the one who tries to push the narrative. We have been consistent. And what our platform is. Our platform is to never sugarcoat a goddamn thing. And the LDBC, each one of us, speaks the truth, speaks our truth. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't have to get up on it. But you, my friend, you, you little impotent goat, you're the one who comes on YouTube and tries to force your narrative on everyone. Okay? You, I mean, and then you take these ridiculously stupid cheap shots. Like, and they're so juvenile. <clears throat> Quest X. Uh, he calls himself Quest X. I mean, come on, he's a, a corporate shill. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He's like from New York, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Dude, if you're going to try to rip someone, know your facts. First of all, I work in New York area. I'm not living in New York. Okay? You don't even know where I got the name Quest X from. Do you? No, but you just automatically went to a racial narrative that it had something to do with Malcolm X. It shows how you are the hypocrite. You're the one who comes from a racial narrative and you try to hide behind some false civility, which everyone can see past. This is why you have who you have as your followers. This is why you always beef with everyone. This is why no one likes you. It is the fundamental fact that everyone sees what you're doing. It's not going to work. Now, I brought up earlier how you pick and choose who you go after as well in the LDBC publicly. 
Now, what you do when you're doing your videos on other topics and how you try to, um, uh, we call it sneak dissing, because you do do a lot of that. And people have picked up on it. Some of the people who used to follow you have told, let, let me not even go there. People who used to follow you, bro, they, they literally have said at some point in time, oh, well, this sounds like he was saying the same thing you guys were saying for so long, uh, but then he may, tried to make it out like it was his idea. Come on, man. If you're going to sit there and be mad at the LDBC for every video that we do, every position that we come at, at least be original and stop biting on everything that we do. Stop playing our videos in the background. We get it. I told you this two years ago, man. We get it. You're starving for a conversation. You want to be a part of the club. You try to pretend that you don't. You try to sit there and sit around and say, oh, no, I just want to be all about boxing. And, and you know, that's all I really want to talk about is boxing. But, dude. You rarely do. You rarely, rarely talk about boxing. Okay? Every other video on your channel is an opinion piece about someone else's opinion. What in the fuck? That is some, that is like some childish, like, fixation on other people's perspectives, which is mind boggling to me because you try to come across as this mature and uh, I'm, I, I'm just trying to save everyone from being sucked into this LDBC propaganda. I mean, it, it, it doesn't it get exhausting when you're constantly thinking about another man's thought pattern or his positions and then you try to insult us like, stop with the, oh, the juvenile insult. The juvenile insults when it pertains to our names and, and titles of videos. And it's just, listen, I can literally, I literally can take a guess as to what motivated your, your, your little outburst just recently. OK, and it's it, it's 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 a neat, it's a great formula, man. It's it gets you people who follow you. I understand. I get it. It, it, it Controversy. It, it get it, it's an attention grabber. So I understand. OK, but when you fixate on how we're making money on YouTube or, oh my goodness, what, you know, you guys are just all about, you know, websites and all of this. It shows your insecurity. It shows your inadequacies as well. It shows that you feel slighted in some way, shape, or form. Uh-oh. I'm leading back to that middle picture. Victimization syndrome. You feel as if boxing is suffering when it comes to YouTube. And what you really mean, translation you're suffering and people who feel as if they're insecure when they come to this platform could because hey you see us gaining thousands of subs you see us doing what we're doing you see us building and branching out okay and and it really bugs you it it gets to you because to you and the way that your brain works and the way that you process things you say to yourself well i'm not doing what they're doing why doesn't anybody like me why doesn't anybody want to be my friend i mean why does anybody want to take what i have to say about this sport seriously come on guys i i, I don't i don't i don't talk about people like that like these guys do. I don't talk like them. I mean, come on, guys. Why, why can't you like me? Me, me, me. That's what it comes down to. It's the me, 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 me. Look at me. Listen to me. If you don't, and you don't agree with me, I'm going to bash your perspective. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. What did I just do there? Oh, you say that that's what we do to everyone else. Well, if that was what we do to everyone else, then how come we're gaining the followers that we're gaining? 
How come we can have debates and and conversations and that we have such a tight knit in a way family in the LDBC? Well, I mean, if, if we if we are such toxic people, right? From top to bottom. And then you and I noticed the the language that you use. You little peons. Look, I mean, it's like you gotta be a ringleader and you're captain, you're God in seventy eight, and then you got your little peons running around here and you know, spreading your propaganda, whatever he tells you to do. That's what you're not understanding. We are a cohesive unit who each one of us can come at it from different angles. And we can disagree. And we to disagree. <sighs> it's just it's 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 it's, <clears throat> it's so funny because I'm sure that you probably when you first came to YouTube you you probably did have good intentions. You probably did, but ambition is a motherfucker. And let's be honest. Man, you've been on here for a long time, man. A long, long time. Okay? I was on YouTube for many years before I started actually making videos. Okay? I get it. It's hard. It's rough, man. You know, to feel like you've been forgotten. You're not a part of the cool club. Okay? I'm sure that must hurt. I'm sure on some level, and you'll try to say, oh, no, I, I'm not like that. I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm not a child. I don't, I don't need to be, uh, I don't want you guys approval. I mean, but come on, man. It's pretty evident. You know, you, 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 you take shots and you, you say, um, oh, for instance, about me, uh, uh Quest, Quest X Boxing news and the Well, you don't do boxing news. Actually, I do do boxing news. Now you'll probably, you know, have your laptop open and try to go down and 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 be like, what, what does he do about news? He doesn't cover any news. Oh wait, he does c cover political news, and he oh wow, he does do entertainment, you know, films and stuff like that. Uh, oh well, he's not entertaining. He's not entertaining anybody. Everything is from an inadequacy that you have about yourself, bro. It's out there. It's evident. We all see it. I, I, I just, it's sad, man. It really is sad, man, that you go on these tirades like this. It is sad because I get it. There is so much I could go in on you about, but it's just too easy. So I want to make, make sure that I keep it about YouTube. Stop trying to pretend that you're something that you're not because everyone can see it. You wouldn't have the problems that you have with certain YouTube channels if you just accept your position and your place. OK, so with all of that, and I've gone on and uh, a bit longer than I wanted to go on on this subject. It just I, I just want to say that while it has been fun picking on you, because I do, I pick on you, all right? I do. It's, it's fun for me, all right? I, I know I'm petty. I, I, it's just one of the many vices. I said I had many vices, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm a petty person. I know that makes me a small man, but, you know, hey, I, I, I like, to poke the bear. In your case, I'm actually kicking the sickly cat. But I like I like I like being that asshole to another asshole. Get what I'm saying here? I like pissing off assholes. You know why? Because assholes don't know how to process it. They'll just go around and around and around and around and around what you've been doing over and over and over and over again. And it's pretty fun. So that's all I got on this one, guys. To all my subs, I do apologize for this video. I know that you probably are saying to yourself, well, 
who is that little lame ass on the left? Uh, don't worry. He knows who he is. He'll come across this video and no doubt he will have a response. And if he doesn't, trust me, he'll wait until I do a video on something that he could claim <laughs> he's coming from a position of, you know, I'm just coming from a position of neutral opinions here. <sighs> I'm out. Peace.